Hello everyone. In this video, we will be demonstrating the proper way to start using the Family Manager in Tower to cut up your model into body and leg extensions. To start, we recommend beginning with the tallest configuration in the Tower family, so largest body extensions and tallest leg extensions. In this example we're using here, the Tower has three body extensions and leg extensions. The interface elevation is located here at joint 110P at Z equals zero. Everything above this interface elevation will remain the same for all configurations. The next section, shown in red here, is body extension 1 and ends at Z equals negative 24. This body extension is special because it can also act as a leg extension if you remove the other body and leg extensions below it. The next body extension, shown in yellow, goes to z equals negative 48. And the third body extension shown in blue goes down further another 12 feet to z equals negative 60. And lastly, the leg extension shown in green extends another 24 feet down to a final elevation of z equals negative 84. So let's now begin the process of cutting up the model into body and leg extensions. To start, we begin by navigating to model, then family manager. We select the joint at the interfaced elevation at joint 110P, which has a Z equal to zero, and we click yes to continue. This then opens the body leg configuration dialog. Once in this dialog, you'll notice that there is a default body extension that shows starting at our interface elevation of Z equals zero, and the legs start at the very bottom of the tower at Z equals negative 84. This is because when you first enter the family manager, Tower will put all the members into one extension. This is so that if you were to OK out of this dialog and close, all members in the extension won't be deleted. Tower deletes any members that are not included in an extension or the main body. So what we're going to do is work our way to the top to the bottom by defining the start elevation at each section. This will ensure that all the members in the model are always in an extension and won't get deleted if we accidentally clicked OK in this dialog prematurely. So let's start by right clicking on the default body extension and selecting the edit option. Let's change the name to body extension 1 and remember this extension can also be used as a leg extension so we'll want to check this option on. Sometimes when creating a body extension you may find this checkbox to be grayed out and unselectable. This happens when there is nothing below the extension, and in which case you will need to come back and edit this extension again after you define the other extensions below it. This checkbox is selectable initially for us now because it is currently the only extension in the model. Note that the Z start is grayed out because this is where the interface elevation is, and we are not going to alter the Z end elevation because we want to keep all the members in an extension at all times. If we were to adjust this to the body extension actually ends at Z equals negative 24, then all the other members would currently not be in an extension and would be deleted if we accidentally close the configuration editor. So let's just change the name and click OK. Now we are going to right click on the second body extension field and click on create. We'll change the name to body extension 2 and we'll adjust the Z start to negative 24 and again leave the bottom elevation to negative 84 so all the members are still in a configuration and click OK. And if we were to go back and look at body extension 1, we can see how, how it automatically adjusted the Z end elevation based on what we input for the start of body extension 2. Now let's right click on the third body extension spot and click create. And we'll do the same thing, change the name of the extension to body extension 3, and we'll adjust the Z start to negative 48 and click OK. And lastly, we right click on the first leg extension and click create. We adjust the Z start to negative 60 and click OK. We then see a message box asking if we'd like to remove joints and members and other quadrants that aren't already in another leg extension and remove symmetry and convert secondary joints to primary. Selecting yes is recommended and will help avoid running into errors later on. 
After this, we can then select the leg extension to use for each of the remaining three quadrants and click OK. And now we can see that we have successfully cut up the model into body and leg extensions. Let's now look at making a new configuration by clicking the New button here. Notice how we are presented with an error message that some of our sections in our model are defined by joints that don't exist. This is because the sections in this model were defined by joints at the bottom of the section. So if you have sections defined by joints and want to quickly convert the model so that each individual member is assigned to each section, you can press the F1 key and navigate to re redefine sections by elements rather than elevations with joints. Note, however, that we first need to activate the first configuration before running this command so that all of the members shown will get reassigned to their corresponding sections. And once we do this and rebuild the configuration, you can see the section errors have now gone away. Now let's edit the new configuration and let's select the first body extension, which we checked the option to say that it could also be used as a leg extension. And now you can see in this configuration that body extension 1 has green circles at the base of the legs indicating fixed joints because we said that the body extension could also act as a leg extension. In the original configuration, where extensions exist below body extension 1, we can see that those joints are no longer fixed. The last thing we will show in this video is how to import body and leg extensions from other models. You will likely be using the Family Manager to combine multiple tower models together to house them all in one Family Manager model, and to do this you will need to use the import functionality. To show this, we are going to look at a different example. This example file is ble underscore example .tow and ships with the software. I've taken this example file and I've used the export command in Family Manager to create individual .tow files for two individual configurations. I've created tower files for a 40-foot body extension with 30-foot legs and another configuration with a 20-foot body extension and 25-foot leg extensions. I'm going to start with the largest configuration, the 40-foot body and 30-foot legs, and I start the Family Manager and select joint 110P for the interface elevation at Z equals 0. I rename the default body extension to indicate the 40-foot extension. Then I create the leg extension which starts at Z equals negative 40. Now that I model is cut up, I'm ready to start my next configuration and import the extensions. So I start by clicking New to create the new configuration. I edit the configuration and I right click on the body1 extension and select the import command. I then select the tower file that has the 20 foot body extension and 25 foot leg extensions. Now we need to specify the Z end of the extension in the model we are importing which is Z equals negative 20 and click OK. It now creates the body extension bringing in the joints and members. And similarly we can create the leg extension and select import again and use the 20 foot body and 25 foot leg model. And for these leg extensions we will set the Z end to be negative 45 and click OK. And as you can see it easily combined body and leg extensions from another model. That's all we have to show in this video. Thank you for watching and we hope that you find this video helpful when using the Family Manager in Tower. If you'd like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powline.com. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at If you'd like to receive a quote to purchase or renew your license, please contact us at sales at And for any technical questions, please contact us at support at Thank you for watching and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.